welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and we're going to talk about One Book July today and also plan the final week. So um, this is the kit that I'm going to go with. It is a planner cake kit. Here's my planner off to the side. There you go. It's a planner cake kit. It is MK619. And it's got like little bees and really lovely kind of yellowy beigey color. Some honeycomb. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this kit. It's, it seems quite summery for me. Um, and I'll just put this out of the way whilst we go through. So this is the fourth week in One Book July. Uh, the last week. Is it four or is it five? I think it's just four. Anyway, this is the last week and I think finally I have come like I've gotten, worked out all the kinks, I guess, and gotten to exactly the way I like it. So um, I'm gonna have a more like thorough flip at the end of the month. So my next video, um, and I'll talk about a little bit about what I learned or what I um, yeah, learned or, or um, worked through during One Book July and whether or not I'll be keeping it going but this is the planner this is the sterling ink a5 common planner and i have it in this lay hit lab case cover um yeah absolutely perfect i have no um except that it's covered in cat hair i have no uh no notes brilliant love it um so First we'll look at this page, which is the quarter page. So I'm keeping track of a couple of things. So floss, eye drops, water, skincare, walk, um, working on my channel, um, looking for work, and then cleaning. Which you can see I've done did a pretty good job at the beginning of the month and I've kind of tailed off here. But um, yeah, hopefully that picks up. Um, and then I have the goals for the month and then the highlights. So if I met the goal, um, I generally write it down when I met it. So I needed to do some increasing of these um, habits and some of them I'm going to fail at. Um, get to three miles at least twice per month and I've already done that. Contact or see two friends. I am can be very insular and can withdraw from people really easily. Um, I just, I don't know, I, I find sometimes I prefer being at home and so I can sometimes isolate myself. So I have a goal to kind of talk or see two friends, have at least one date night and we, we did. We went to a winery and had some amazing olives. And then uh, YouTube, get my YouTube up to 350 and we are close. I think we're about 330, 329, something like that. So hopefully, um, I doubt it we make it at the end of July, but you never know. So if you like this content, you want to see more from me, um, I would love to have you click that subscribe button and yeah, come join us. So here, this is going well. Nothing, none of this really changed for One Book July because this was all had this kind of info in it. So that's pretty much the same. So then my monthly um, had to kind of accommodate a couple of things. So I had to com accommodate the kind of big scale um, stuff like appointments and stuff like that, which I didn't have a lot. Um, any kind of sports that we're on, I kind of put on here. Um, but I also need to house the books that I read. So when I started and when I finished reading a book and then a list of the books that I read, the genre that they were in and what I rated them. And I also need to capture my posts on um, social media. So 
and actually I need to add another one for TikTok, but TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. And so far, I think it did that well. I have put, um, when I start a book in black and then when I finish it in blue, so I can see, you know, how many I've read um, at a glance. Yeah, and I think it, it worked out fine. I, you know, I'll talk about this more next week, but I'm not sure that this would continue in this form going forward, but it worked out all right. Okay, so last week, um, I think you saw this one. It's, you know, looking at this now, it feels like this is a bit crazy. Um, and it is crazy, but I think it, it's kind of crazy nice. Um, actually, I think I did a plan with me maybe of this. Not sure. But so I have this kind of, I guess, kind of stayed similar. But instead, I put my reading down at the bottom um, instead of my to-do list. And then this kind of stuff is basically a capture of my day. So kind of what happens here. And I do this as I go. Um, and then I have a meal plan and then reading down here. And this is just a kind of summary of of the week so this is this week and this is a kit from let's plan it and this is a week's kit so i had i really liked this kit and she had it for the cousin as well um or for the a5 size and i liked it so much i ordered the week's kit too so I had to, I didn't have to, but I ended up doing a little bit of sticker surgery. So I cut those so that they would fit across there. Um, and then like some of these labels and stuff, I really didn't think that I needed to, to change them. So I kind of just use them and I think it worked out great. What I have done though, and I figured out this week was to and this is helping because if you know if you know if you've watched this video these videos you know that I've been consistently having a problem with what do I do with social media I have not solved it but I think this is helping so I have like check boxes beside the icon to let me know where I am in the procedure so and actually these needs to be checked off so I just noticed that so one would be like taking the picture doing the thing and the other would be uploading it um and yeah it it's really helped so i continued to doing that here and then i kind of set it up in its own little spot and usually a lot of this gets done on the monday and i kind of set up the week sometimes the tiktoks don't get done uh, on the monday but then this just really helps me to see where I am in the processes, which wasn't, I wasn't, for whatever, however I was doing it before, I just wasn't able to see what I needed to see in the week. And now I I'm, can see it. So it's working out well. Okay, so then the One Book July. So here we start One Book July. Um, and as you'll see, I decided to move my to-do lists in here. So you have the to-do list or the today and then a grateful for and a reflection. And I started also just kind of playing around with stickers because I wasn't using a lot of stickers back here. I was maybe using a couple. Sometimes I was just using um, Tombos. So I just started doing a little bit more. And using one page per day, which I hadn't been used to using, um, two, two days per page using a page per day has meant that I have space to write like little like notes or um, yeah like little things that I probably wouldn't have written if I hadn't had this whole kind of space 
So yeah, it's, it's some of it looks extremely messy and some of it doesn't get finished. And I find like, I'm not so worried about that. Here, I knew I wasn't gonna write a lot. So I just made it together. I need to take that, put it over here somewhere. Um, so here we are, this is this week. Um, made some little notes here and I don't have a reflection here. And this is today. So that's how it's going. I think I'm pretty happy. Um, with it so far and I'll have more to say. I'm gonna move this down a little bit so I can get you close. Um, more to say next week when I do a little bit of a like review. So um, I'm just gonna talk while so I'm setting this up. Um, I did want to say if you have watched my last video, uh, planning with a chronic illness, I really appreciate it. It was a little bit different um, thing for me. Sorry, I'm just looking for my my sticker mover thing, and I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, it was a slightly different thing for me, um, but I really appreciate those of you who took the time to watch and, um, comment. Um, I'll leave a link in the cards up here for you if you haven't seen it yet and you would want to. Um, I have been living with a chronic illness now for... Um, six years and yeah I it really has affected the way that I plan and so I wanted to kind of talk about it and talk about some strategies that I have used to help manage that because if you have a chronic illness you will know that planning sometimes is difficult because you're not always sure how you're gonna feel on the day that you've kind of designated as, you know, cleaning the house day or go do the errands day or whatever. So, um, yeah, I have a couple of tips for people who have chronic illness and who like planning and maybe you're finding it a little bit, I don't know, difficult. Um, but that doesn't mean that, you know, it's not a useful video for anyone, anyone who has trouble maybe um, getting the things done that they write in their planner, it might be useful for you as well. So I'm going to start with the date covers. This kit is really calming, I find. The, the, the not the problem there's certainly not a problem but the issue i have is whether where to put the thick washi because normally the thick washi would go on the bottom and this this thin washi would go underneath here um and that's let's see let's see if we can find an example i didn't have a lot okay so like here this would be the example and then i just put my to-do lists up here um so I'm not having a to-do list. I just need a reading thing. So I might put, might do the same. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. Sometimes you have to look at your own planner and say, how did I set this up before? What was I doing here? At least I do. Um, so how are we feeling about um, the end, the coming end of July? I cannot... It's, it's so strange to me that we're already, you know, we're already here. We're already almost at August and I can't, you know, deny the fact that I'm very grateful for that. I absolutely love fall. 
I'm one of those. Um, not because I have, you know, pumpkin spice lattes or anything. I, I don't like coffee. But um, I absolutely love the fall weather. I love going back to school or that kind of sense of going back to school. For me, um, September is always like a fresh start, a new start. Um, and, you know, now you're an adult, you probably, you don't get that feeling maybe in October unless you have children or in September. I don't have children, um, but I still feel because I'm in education when I am working, um, I still have that sense of a, you know, new, a new start, a new you know, beginning, and yeah, I, I love it. It's, um, you know, cool sweater weather. It's, it's, yeah, a celebration of everything great. So I think that what I am going to do is put this down here. I just like these, this, this washi strip so much, um, that I can't really leave it out. So I'm just going to put it Let's see. Let me look. Let me look. Let's see where I put it. If I went further down. No, I did. Okay. I know some people. My mother is one of them. She's a very much a lover of summer. She loves her garden. That's, you know, her pride and joy. And so... The coming of fall means that her garden's gonna go and so she's you know not as excited for the fall as I am but my partner is the same way we both love love fall so I'm looking forward to it being here now I'm do I take that little corner off? I might. We'll see when I get there. Okay, so th this one comes with a weekend, um, but I never, I like to use this Hello Weekend more. So um, I will probably use that one. That one's down at the bottom, top, bottom, bottom. So I'm gonna use this at the top, this Hello Weekend at the top. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited for the fall. I'm excited for um, I'm really excited for all the new planners. Um, people will be starting to you know think about their 2025 lineup and I am no exception. Um, I, I'm going to take this out of here because I think it would be easier. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what Sterling Inc. offers this year. This is the planner that I'm in and I really, I've enjoyed it a lot. So, you know, we'll see, we'll see what she's got. So normally I put the thing down here. So I think I'm going to have to take that off. So I've got a ruler, actually. I'll use this one because it's a little sharper. I did have one of those little blades, but it broke and then I haven't replaced it yet. Hmm, that's an interesting rip there, Stephanie. But stick will cover it. Stickers will cover all the mistakes. Yeah. Right, and then what else do I need on my sidebar? I need it this week. This week is blue, so I'll use this red this week. I like these little stickers that look like torn pieces. So you can see. Um, they're really cute. So I'll put that there. Okay. Um, now I need 
to look at my, well, I need to look at the end of July and the beginning of August. Oh, I've got nothing written there, the beginning of August, because I haven't done my August. But Planner Kate is having their 10th anniversary. So I thought it was fitting that on Monday. So I thought I, it was fitting that I was using a Planner Kate kit. Um, I think there's a Hello Monday. There used to be a PK sticker in the sticker kits. And I don't see one. I don't see one, but I think I might have one somewhere. So I will put a little note to remind myself. I hope it's a nice sale because I wanna I wanna splurge. Right, so we have a couple of things we need to do. So we know that Tuesday and Thursday is training. So I'll use these little skinny ones for that. And we go at about um, 6.30. So I'll just put it across the seven there. 6.37. I think this is my first I think this is my first of the new kits that I've used since you re... Oh no, I, I used them here. I lied. Um, so that's for training. And then we have... And I'll put this little, little shoe. Um, and then I usually, on a Sunday, I have I usually have like one of the, these boxes, so I'm going to put this one. And that's where I have laundry and then I'll use this laundry day and clean house there's like a little Oh, there's like a little, mm, a little, um, what's that called? Like a vacuum cleaner. Yeah, vacuum cleaner. Not, uh, not not working correctly so we want clean house and then we'll have the vacuum cleaner yeah. there okay training then we have on Thursday we have garbage. So I'll go back to here. I'll use these skinny ones. There's another blue skinny one, so I'll use this blue skinny one for garbage. And I'm going to put it up a little high. Wait, I need to about here for books, I think. So maybe like there. And that will be for garbage. So, 
now is the ever the dilemma with the boxes. So I've got one, two, three, four. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I could go one, two, three. Let's bracket this off first. So I want to make a line let's see I've got some Tombow swatches here. I'm just gonna see if I have anything that looks like it could go with this kit to make the there we go. Ooh, what about that one? Tumbo N52. I think that's the one I pulled already. N52 it is. Okay, I'd like to make a line to maybe 9 o'clock. And this will be where I put my reading. So what we need. Maybe one of these. These are like little scribbles. Focus for you. Maybe I'll put that one there. Now, technically, I need a space for social media as well, but I could do it like without, like I had kind of bracketed it off here, but I don't have to bracket it off. I could just put it, you know, where it, I think it might belong. So we have Instagram, and I'm going to use this kind of mobby. Should I use that one or should I find maybe this yellow? Maybe the yellow. Okay, so we've got, we're going to do, um, let's do it here at six. So one of the things that you'll notice about this is that I'm not using the times exactly. I use them more uh, roughly. So this is roughly in the morning, roughly in the evening. That's just the way I do it. Um, I can't um, like time block because so much of what I do just will could change quite quickly. Um, so yeah, so I just do it when I think roughly it'll get done. So yeah, this will work too. They're all on the same line. They're just not. Um, Exact. And then this one will be YouTube. And that will go out on the Sunday. And Saturday, I usually don't post anything scheduled. Sometimes I'll re I'll re you know do a story or something like that. Okay, so that looks good. And then now we're back to the box situation. So I think uh, gosh, I I I mm. I don't like when they, when, I'm not criticizing this kit in any way because I love it, it's, it's really pretty, but I never know what to do with four boxes that are 
decorative. And then functional boxes. I've got one, I've got four, five functional boxes. Um, so I like to put the, one, two, three, four. I think that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to probably put them all down here at about four o'clock. The bottom one is at four. Because it kind of brackets off my social media in a way, but then it doesn't, I didn't do a line. So yeah, different. This doesn't leave me a whole lot of a spot for places for plans and stuff but if you know that's okay because I'm currently not working so I've got lots of space I do want to put in these hello Monday and finally Fridays and I usually like to put them up here I really like the Hello Monday, Finally Friday, even though I don't work. The Hello Monday, I really, I really like. I'm not, I'm really, I really like Mondays. <laughs> I like the feeling of getting, you know, your things together and um, doing the things on your to-do list and setting up your week off correctly. Um, but yeah, that could be, that could be a me thing. Um, how cute is this? A little, like, be on the... See, these, this kit, now I'm almost getting finished of what the plans have to go in here. And, like, I still have so much for the kits. So, they are a good value. I'm going to, you know, I can use this kit again. Um, I just need dates. They're, they're, like, days. So, really, really useful. Um, is there anything else I need to write down? Oh, I want to write, I want to... Mm, Maybe I will use this little B. Or is it because we have the B? Maybe I won't use a B. Because the B is right there. Maybe I'll use the blue one here. Put that there. And then there's like this little don't forget, which I could put like that. Not that I would forget. Um, and it is PK anniversary. Yeah, that's good. And then put some stickers down here. I've got to put, what am I looking for? Training. So yes, PK um, anniversary on Monday. Hopefully there's a big sale. The new, like the details of the sale should have come out by now. I think they were supposed to come out Saturday and this will go out on Sunday. Um, so let me know if you are purchasing anything. If you, um, yeah, if there's anything you had your eye on that you want to order. I've got a couple of kits that I want to get. Um, and then also just some things that 
I use like, all the time um, that are running low so it's a good opportunity for me to get those things um, I don't know what the, the sale is gonna be like but it's generally a good one for um, the anniversary and because it's our 10th anniversary there might be some extra extra special uh, things so I just put my meal plan the week um, sticker there and this I think there's some things I'm forgetting so I need my AM and PM stickers and then my reading stickers so I'll just get out my reusable sticker book so first I'll use a reading um, I think this one it's a good one for this kit and actually is there are there books do I have the books not in this kit but I do have them here I like to jazz it up if I can a little And what else did I say I needed? I needed a reading of oh, AM PM routine. Oh, and Peltre. It's the day that I fill the Peltre. Um, I have a tray because I can't remember. I won't remember. Um, if I've taken my pills or not, and that's part of the illness, is that you forget things. Um, so I have a little tray that I fill up every day, or every week, and then um, I'll know if I've forgotten something because it won't be taken. Now, I could have put this week of stickers. Should I take this? Let's see if this comes up. So this, these are... Hmm. Going to come up or not? No. Okay, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. This looks emptier, emptier than normal. I don't know why. Um, but it will, you know, start off empty and then it end up like this. So I'm not, I'm not worried. Now. Before I go, I'm going to try and use these check boxes for my social media. So with my YouTube, I will need four because there's film, thumbnail, edit. That's five, Stephanie. That's five. How am I going to do that? I'm going to need scissors. So I'm just going to cut one of the things off here. And then use these four. And then I'll just check them off as I do them. And then... See how many are here? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four, five. So I'll use that. There we go. Two for each of the other ones. Again, the little sticker, sir, sticker surgery is not bad. You use the stickers, however you would like to use them and I like the checklists absolutely love the checklists the checklists are one of my favorite things about the kit but in this case I won't probably won't need the checklists for like a to-do list um, or won't need all of them anyway and so this is a good way of using what I have for what I need
and this will just like I say I, I can put you know um, like filmed or or if it, um, I took the picture or whatever and um, And then when I post it, I can do the second check mark. I'm going to save this little one because I might need it. So I think that's good for right now. I have everything that I need to start off with. Um, I haven't used anything on this sheet except for the Hello Weekend, but this is great because I will use these, um, if not in this spread, in a, you know, an upcoming spread. I have so many stickers left from this kit. Um, I'll, I'll use some of them during the week, um, but the rest I will use another time because you can use, I can use, end up using these kits more than once and saving some money. So there we are, there's our um, last week in One Book July. Um, hopefully you enjoyed me rambling about nothing for 20 minutes. And um, yeah, you stay with us and like and subscribe this video. So thank you so much for watching. Next week is a wrap up of One Book July and um, a monthly flip through. And hopefully you'll join me for that. Thank you. Bye. Bye.